Hi, my name is Victoria Dula. I'm the avionics technical project manager at Ashurada and mainly what avionics is, is we work on all the electronics design for the lunar landers. I'm the project manager for the entire electronics systems team, so I work with avionics, harness, the comms team, as well as the power team and handle their schedule day to day and make sure they're getting everything they need and if there's a technical difficulty that arises, I gather the right people and I report up to our mission director and make sure he understands what the implications of what went wrong actually are. I loved space, so like I grew up with Pittsburgh in my backyard, I grew up an hour south of Pittsburgh, so we always went to the Science Center and I really fell in love with space and stuff when I was in first grade. They were like, you need to pick a woman to write about for Women's History Month. And they gave me a list and I just happened to pick Sally Ride off the list. So I got to sit and learn about her and then I just fell in love with her. I asked my parents for a telescope and then we'd come to the Science Center all the time and I'd explore like the robotics section and I love the Tesla coil that they have there. And it was just super exciting and even up to when I was in middle school in sixth grade we did a project. It was like just the first thing we did in science class. They asked us, okay, draw what you think a scientist looks like. And out of, I think there were 75 of us in the whole grade, and I was the only one that drew a woman, that drew a woman as the scientist, because I just drew myself, because that's what I wanted to be. <laughs> I love volunteering because electrical engineering is still a very male-dominated field. Um, I think when I started at Pitt, of a class of 45 people for electrical engineering, only five of us were women. So it's really a disproportionate uh, engineering discipline when it comes to gender and I'm really passionate about driving the next group of women to go into electrical engineering because it should be more diverse. We should be excited about the things we're doing and that's why I love volunteering, especially at things like this Girls Exploring Engineering Day we had yesterday. It's a room full of women that I can just speak to and give my experiences and inspire them to continue on and pursue different degrees even not just in electrical engineering, but STEM itself, just so that we can get more diversity. I love working on avionics because it's a huge challenge, but also it brings in artistic ability into engineering. So PCB design is almost like a weird art. If you kind of have to play Tetris to make all the pieces fit on the board itself. And then the actual connections between the different pieces, the routing we do in the copper, it's a talent and it's an art. As someone who did do a lot of like dance and artistic things growing up, it's fun that I can still use my creative brain in a way that makes sense in engineering. My favorite thing about working on Peregrine Mission 1 are the people I've met. So many of the people I've met here that all started back two and a half years ago when we were 20 people in the office downtown. There are some really crazy smart people and it's really cool to get to work with them every day and get to learn from them and I've honestly learned so much so I started out just as the electronics person you know knowing all my circuits and things like that but I've gotten to learn so much about how mechanicals work how the thermal team works and seeing how things like the RF comms team how they calculate their link budgets I've gotten to learn so much from different people getting just to see like how our mission sims are run and learning the process of what we do to actually control the lander. It's crazy to get both to see the people doing it and get to learn about it because it's something I never would have gotten to learn if I just took a normal electronics job designing uh, cell phones or things like that.